discussed the uh, armed citizenry earlier. And what is your principal view on that? Are you right. for tight controls? All right. I'm for each country deciding how it can keep its citizens safer. And Iceland is a good example of a country where you have a very, very law-abiding citizenry, educated population, uh, a country where people believe in, in hunting and the right to bear arms for purposes of hunting, and where your crime rate with regard to guns is very, very low. So my belief is uh, Iceland is a model country in terms of to prove that you can be armed as a citizenry, have an armed citizenry, and still have a safe country. Yeah. So we can, uh, we can live by example or other countries and look at Iceland as an example in that matter. You can look at Iceland as an example that you can have a highly armed citizenry in relation to the population and still have a safe country. What I don't want people to do is to think that you can use the Iceland model and transplant it to another country. Um, there are countries where they believe you should have low access to guns, and there are countries where you believe you should have high access to guns. And I believe that each country should decide for itself which it should be. Yeah. We discussed cyber, the threat right. of cyber terrorism earlier. Yeah. What is the, the, the most pressing problem that we face globally when it comes to that on the, on, in your job? The most pressing problem globally when it comes to cyber crime of any sort is that uh, the organized crime groups are much faster. Um, they don't have any legal barriers allowing them to, uh, preventing them from moving from one country to another country virtually. And they're able to hit a country very quickly financially or hit citizens financially, take the money out, and the chances of finding the money afterwards is very, very low. So they move fast, lower limitations, and much more effective at, uh, at achieving their ends. You met with the Prime Minister earlier. What was the topic of discussion? Later. I'll be meeting with the Prime Minister later. What will you be discussing with you? Discussing the fact that uh, Iceland is such an important member of Interpol, that it's a very safe country, and that their police force, uh, your police force, is very, very actively engaged in screening citizens and uh, databases to make sure um, that the people who come to Iceland um, come here with the right intentions. Yeah. We, have, we have not, uh, we have had some issues of cyber threats here uh. in recent years. One of the biggest telecommunications company was hacked by uh, cyber terrorists and we had some, some security problems uh, at the government level as well. How do you think the Icelandic authorities are equipped in fighting cyber terrorism? Well, I think Iceland, just like any other um, advanced country where you're very highly um, interconnected when it comes to internet access and cyber access, you're a risk, at risk. But every country, there's, there's no country that I've visited where they have the cyber problems solved. Uh, the important point is that in order to do legitimate activity, the internet facilitates that greatly. So by limiting it too much, you hurt your ability to develop the way that you should and, and uh, the vibrant uh, economy that's coming back in, in Iceland needs to have a very open internet uh, policy, which it currently has.